Hello, welcome back to my playthrough of the Escape from Innsmouth and the Mansions of Madness series. Uh, it looks like we are reaching the end game. Um, I'm not sure if I played it wrong last episode because uh, Min suffered one sanity and became had seven damage insanity but it said uh, as I read it uh, she was just startled resolve immediately no effect discard this card so I'm not sure if we're gonna count it, count it as uh, sanity damage or not but um, well I'm in this episode now so uh, this is how it's played this time <laughs> Let me know if anyone knows that I'm playing it wrong. I would like to know because then I will do it right another time when I'm playing either by myself or with other people. Uh, the house is slightly coming apart because I'm playing, I'm moving around, I'm getting excited. So yeah, that's why I like these games, obviously. So, uh, what to do? We do know we have to find the agent. We do know we have to light signal for signal fire in um, in uh, on the docks. Um, we do know there's a cultist here that um, wants us what what to, wants to do us harm. Um, yeah, top notch, ain't it? Um, I would think we're gonna start off with William Yorick and let him uh, do the cultist off hopefully then we'll, uh, we'll let him move and try to put out the fire if he can do that uh, I'm not sure if that demands an action Checking the rules really quick. Uh, it's, it looks like that uh, putting out fire really demands an action. Crap. <laughs> uh, yeah. Typical, typical, typical. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see, there's something below, under here also. Well, oh, I, I just realized William is stunned. You can only perform, you cannot perform more than one single action. So, well, that, that solves it for us. Uh, William's single action this turn will be attacking the cultist. Let's go to the app and attack the cultist. Here we are in the app and we're gonna choose the cultist. We're gonna attack it and I think we would like to attack it with an armed. You study your opponent's movements, observation and he needs two successes. So Let's get in there and do that roll. And William has uh, four observation. He's got a clue, he's focused still, and he's got the uh, brass knuckles uh, that gives him two additional dice while attacking an arm. So he has six dice. And then roll five. Wow, and uh, let's reroll one of those blanks. Oh. There's two successes. Let's get over to the app and read all about it. And we we'll read if you pass, you see weakness in the left knee and attack. The monster suffers two damage. And that will mean we can discard this cultist. Wave bye bye to the cultist people. As the store owner crumbles to the ground, the dagger falls from her hand with a clatter. Oh, it, it was a she actually. 
sorry about that girls in those this me two times it was a girl and she was badass as girls are uh, most of them let's see ritual dagger falls to the ground it's placed continue close the monster drawer and let's go to the board here's the board and uh, Min, 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 Min. She's wounded. She cannot perform the move action more than once each round. Oh, while I remember, William killed a monster. He gets a clue. So he has two clues now. <laughs> well, Min, let's do hers. And we will start with a move action. Moving Min in here, where she suffers one damage, which is not good, but we have to, we cannot stand still and burn to death inside the store. So, and suffers damage, it's up, ooh, ooh, ruptured eardrum. After the splitting pain and partial deafness, you find that your balance is off. Keep face up, roll one few die while resolving an agil agility test. She has suffered a ruptured eardrum, people. How awful is that? You can only imagine. Uh, yep, that was her first step in the move. While she moves, she discharges her fire extinguisher action discard all fire in your space and adjacent spaces so she starts putting out fires so she will put out this fire oh i'm not sure if oh and let me zoom out a bit for you you see, there's a fire in the bathroom, there's a fire in the hotel room. When she uses the fire extinguisher, it says adjacent. This is adjacent, this is adjacent, and this is adjacent. Um, I would like to go and uh, check out the board game geeks pages and find out if uh, spaces with a door or an obstacle is adjacent or not, and I can put out fire in them. We'll be right back. And I check the pages. It's true awesomeness. The fire extinguisher can be used in spaces with doors. And it counts as such. So, we take away this. And we take away this. You're home free, almost. <laughs> almost. Oh, crap. Yep. And the movement again, yeah. Ermin has moved one space, discarded her, discarded, no, discharges her fire extinguisher, and keeps on running into the bathroom through the smoke and fire embers. She is heading out. Out of there. Good. That ends Min's turn and will end the investigator's phase. Let's go to the app. In the app, and we press end the investigator phase, confirm. And there's the missile phase. The fire spreads out of control, place fire in a space adjacent to a space containing fire. And uh, let's go to the board and do that. And here's the board as it looks, and we will place a fire as such. Yoink. There is this burning, it's burning all around the hotel almost now. Just have one free passage, hopefully to the agent, we will find out. If you're crapped out now and the agent shows to be here or there, well, that will be this end of the end of this game.
No! Crap! Well, let me go to the app. Here you see, as I pressed, the fire spreads. There was this crunching sound of woods and nails and fire just consuming something and the app reads the mob has completely surrounded and mostly destroyed the dock that was your last hope of escape the investigation is not complete Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, well, that concludes it. The end. You can't get more finalized ending than that. The end. Well, let's do a wrap up of this. Let's go to the board and talk about some issues. So, and concluding this, this mob was terrible, you know, You're just walking around, wrecking disaster everywhere, setting fires, I hate fires in games, all games, fires, not good, ever. Um, I realized while I was playing that I was doing the fires wrong. I was putting one fire here, one fire there. I just have to put one fire in an adjacent space containing a fire. After I read myself up a bit about it, <coughs> I did not know that, but well, I counted like I set a fire, oh, I set a fire here and I set a fire here. Then I have to place a fire here and there, but I don't obviously well I learn as I go now gameplay wise um, what did I fumble the most I think I fumbled most of the timer because I, I was too slow just I run and I did I almost did one whole circle before realizing that I had to talk with this guy and had to pick up the key so I had to run out again pick up the key get inside again it took so many rounds you know but I didn't know then uh, maybe I will try to remember it next time I play this um, scenario and uh, that leaves me to the second thing I don't like um, I'm sharing this now on YouTube for people to look and um, as I'm playing I'm realizing wow I, I am really destroying people's experience with this because I'm playing in an app that gives a scenario telling and showing the storyline so for the next people that tries to play the storyline that maybe they re remember oh they watched Mr. T play this. He did a circle around. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna go there. So that will leave a, leave a bit of the exp experience for them and the excitement of playing it. We will take the bottom out of it, but I don't know. Next playthrough I'm gonna do, uh, it, I think, will be Eldritch Horror, because I still. Left to pop this badass out of the box. God, look, it's got the plastic on everything. It's so nice. Oh, 
Oh, that gets so excited. I almost knocked the camera over. Um, but all in all, I had fun. That's the most important thing, to have fun. And um, I've never, never shared this on YouTube before. I never streamed anything on YouTube like this. It's my first time and I enjoyed it. It was fun. And um, that leaves a conclusion that I will be doing this more. It's winter time in Norway now. I have a lot of time to be inside, indoors, in my basement playing. Uh, making my wifey frustrated. But uh, <laughs> just have to live with that. No, I'm just kidding. We wave bye bye to our two investigators. Maybe we will see those again in another episode. So, all in all, this was fun guys. Thank you for watching. And if you ever play it, don't do what I did. Bye bye, stay safe. This is me signing out. Episode 17 concludes. Bye.